Okay, so it is Labor Day and we are all in the car. Dad's driving and we're heading into town to grab a bite to eat and then we're gonna go to the park and play Frisbee golf. Well, actually we have to go to Dollar General and get Frisbees. We've never done it. What we, you got? We've never Look. played Frisbee golf, but they have it at our local park. We have so. a Frisbee already. We have one Frisbee, but I think we all need a Frisbee. Well, this one's one. Okay, so anyway, um, we're gonna go eat some Japanese and Chinese food. Yeah. Ooh, sorry, going over bumps. And then we're gonna go grab some frisbees and we're gonna go to the park and play. And Uriah brought his boat. Uriah, did you bring your boat my mom got you for? Yeah, got okay, so we have a boat that we're gonna put in the pond at the lake, um, for the pond that is at the park. And see how that goes. First and Labor Day we have spent not laboring. Which is what it's all about. Yeah, it's usually a lot of projects <laughs> to get done on Labor Day. That's true. And since we're always like this year, we've been working on projects nonstop. So you it's like worth you not working Honey. on them today. So Where's anyway. That was some good luck. My poker years have paid off. Poker? It has nothing to do with poker. <laughs> but I always have good rolls. Oh, okay, got it. All right, run. Poker has nothing to do with rolling dice either. <laughs> Unless it's a different kind of poker than I know about. All right, here comes the two. All right, you got to get in three or say it's going to beat them. Chasey, shake, chasey, shake. Miss, okay. miss, 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 miss. Come on, Zay, Uriah's waiting. Alright, what did you guys find? Come here. bread, but still watch. They're piranhas. Oh my goodness, they're starving. <laughs> Fighting over the piece of bread. Mom, Dad, piranhas. They are fighting over it. I just saw them right there. With a red shell, so we're the calling him red shell Cuba. You can't really see it on camera because of the reflection, I don't think. All those fish. Oh, yeah, look at all what? of them right there. They're waiting for you to throw some more to them. Uriah's hook and some bread. Yeah, I was just about to a cast net. Yeah, those yes. guys are too little to eat anyway. Okay, let's go back oh, and find I saw big fish. I don't number know four. So our frisbee got lost in the pond. So we have played half of a game of disc golf and now we are fishing just for a quick little bit. Everybody except Judah, who's laying here in the sun. Hello. Because he likes to be so hot, so he wears sweatshirts on very hot days and just lays in the sun, soaking up all the heat. <laughs> it's a really nice day today, though. Okay, so Uriah's out at the pond testing his gift from Mama and Papa for the cousin's party. It's a little motorized boat, and it is crazy fast. Uriah, that's such a cool gift. That's really fun. I think I want one. <laughs> no. <laughs> we could have races. Oh. For fun. <laughs> so it is Tuesday, and Uriah and I are out doing some shopping. We have
have to go to Sam's Club and we have to buy some things for um, us. And then we also have to get some things for C students, which is our like church youth group, a bunch of snacks and sodas and things like that. Don't let me forget to get some LaCroix and maybe some Gatorades for you guys. Anyway, um, and then after this, we're going to Aldi's and I'm getting some groceries. I made a two week shopping list, which I haven't done in a while for Aldi. So we're gonna try to do like a little two week shop and this guy's my helper tonight. And then where are you wanting to go? Walmart. What do you wanna get at Walmart? Um, a fishing rod. A little fishing rod. He has some money from his mom. Oh, and I have $10 here. And you have some of your own money. So he's gonna get a fishing rod. This guy is the fishingest guy I've ever known. Okay, we're gonna get inside. Maybe I'll do a little recording while we're out and about today, but we'll see. So it's Wednesday and Judah and I just got home. It's, um, I think 8.45 and we just got home from the children's consignment sale. So you can see behind me, all of these boxes. So today I pulled out all of the boys' clothes and I went through to figure out what I needed to buy for fall and winter clothes and then Judah went with me to the consignment sale tonight and we got a bunch of coats and jeans and shirts for fall and winter. Um, we also picked up the boys some like fun things here. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, and we got a bunch of play shoes because the boys need tons of play shoes because they play in the creek with them and they just get them really dirty and I don't want them wearing their nice shoes outside so we bought some of those that were like, you know, three, four or five dollars a piece, which is a really good deal. Anyway, so that's what we have been up to. We also went to PetSmart on the way home and got this guy a tag. Charlie, what's on your face? What's on your face? Say hello. Hello, YouTube. Oh, yes. Kisses. Anyway, we got him a tag um, and we got a couple more fish for Isaiah's fish tank because we think Clipsy Kitty ate two of them. Don't really know. Anyway. That's what you had on your face. Anyhow, that's what Jude and I have been up to today. So we are tired. We are calling it a night. I will detag and sort all of the new clothes tomorrow um, and then put them in the boys' boxes. And then when it's cold enough to pull out fall clothes, we'll do that. So anyway, hope you guys are having a good night. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay, so Dean went to town today and bought straw to cover um, the grass seed that we are planting in the front yard. You can see it's very smooth now. We had um, the guy who's been working came over and smoothed it all. He worked till like nine o'clock last night and Ezra and Uriah are getting the big rocks out of the front yard. Dean's raking. Um, we're fixing and smoothing out the edges of the stream right here where the pond drains down the stream and he's got about half of it covered with weed paper. We've got the other half to do. Um, Uriah was helping get rocks out from over there, I believe. And Judah, if you can see him, is way over here using this $2 seed spreader that we bought from an estate sale this summer. I'll link to that video up above so you can see all the awesome things we got. I think um, it was, yeah, 50% off day. How much did you say, $2? $2. Paid for it and um, it's working well. So he's covering all of this dirt with grass seed um, yeah, and then over here by the shop too. How many bags of grass seed did you say you bought? Three, Three 50, pound 50 pound bags. Okay, so that'll cover the shop over here, this, this area back past this little stream, and then all of this area up here to the pond and way back there. And then even over here to the garden, we had some um, low spots filled in with topsoil and then smoothed out. We had some dead trees back there that we had cut down and the trunks pulled out, so we had to fill in some dirt there. So. We're basically just kind of trying to make this front yard really level. Um, when we first bought this place, there were probably three or four Bradford pear trees here and Bradford's, they're kind of everywhere on this property, but they're known for breaking. So we only had, one had already broken. We had two left here, like here and here that broke the first winter we were here, I guess. And Dean's dad came and dug the stumps out for us. So we just really wanted this front yard to be nice and smooth so we can play like croquet or volleyball or I don't know, whatever we want to do when we have friends over. We want it to be nice here. So we're getting there. <laughs> oh, Rose, did you get bit by a flea? <laughs> She's gonna dig her butt in the dirt. Anyway, 
this is what we're doing on Thursday evening. Hey guys, um, it's Saturday and I have moved my camera in my car so it feels really weird. I feel like I'm not looking in the right place when I look at you guys. Anyway, Saturday, got a busy day today. I'm actually leaving to head to the dollar store because I have to buy some like poster board and pens and some different things. Um, let me turn my air off so you can hear me. Um, some different things like that for a church type project that um, the events team and I are working on tonight. We have a big thing tomorrow for our community. It's called the Great Day of Praise and it's basically like a community outreach where we have free food, lots of fun activities for families. We have a big outdoor worship service and then our pastor gives like just a really quick short type message thing. Um, it's not even really like a message or like a sermon or anything like that that you would hear in church. It's just a fun thing. Anyway, we um, are making these little posters that are gonna go on each tent that's out and about in the park where we live and I've got to go pick all that stuff up. Then I have to go back home. I have to check dinner. I've got a big, like one sheet chicken bake kind of thing in the oven. And then I have to mow. I have not mowed this week. And I really need to do that. Dean is out working on getting extra grass seed spread and getting straw put out on our front yard and then the side yard over by the shop. So that should be done today. And then we just wait. We just water the yard and wait. We actually bought a pump that goes in our pond and some sort of like sprinkler system that goes in the yard that will keep all of that grass seed and straw wet, moist. Anyway, um, hopefully we get some grass fairly quickly and we have to, I think, cut it a few times so that it like stimulates the root growth or whatever. So we're making our way through that project. Anyway, I'm here. So I'm gonna run inside get my stuff and then get home so I can mow because I have to leave pretty soon after lunch and after I mow. So oh, hurry. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Monday and I am just popping on here really quickly to wrap up this past week's vlog. Um, it's been a crazy week. Yesterday was Sunday and as I mentioned earlier, um, it was our church's great day of praise, community outreach. It was a busy day. I didn't record or take even a lot of photos that day because it was just so busy. But I did want to jump on here today just to say thank you for watching this video if you made it to the end. Um, I appreciate it very much. I would love it if you would give this video a like if you enjoyed watching it. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you did that and make sure you click the bell to turn on notifications so you know when I post new videos. Um, and I'm just gonna start this next week's vlog. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to say again, thank you guys very much for watching it. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the little bits and pieces of our lives this past week. And I will see you in next week's vlog for new stuff. Bye.